So the question here today is, why do some doctors recommend varicocele surgery? So I'm going to do a Google Scholar search and show you the results of varicocele and show you some really, really shocking uh, results as to what kind of scientific publications there are. So let's take a look here. Let's look in, let's do an advanced search where we only search the titles of the articles. This is representative of what the article is really about and what the research paper is about. So there is about seven, about 8,000 articles, 7,890 articles on published on varicocele where they have the actual term varicocele in the title. Now, when we search for varicocele surgery, you have, you have 250 here. Now, when you search for varicocelectomy, which is varicocele surgery, you have 1,790. So when you look at the results here, you have about 8,000 articles that are about varicocele, and you have about 2,000 articles just on varicocele surgery, right? You have about 1,790 plus 250 here. Let's say there might be varicocelectomy in some of these, but let's just assume two th about 2,000 about two publications are on varicocelectomy. That's 20% of the publications are on varicocele surgery. Now, here's the shocker here. When we search for varicocele and prevention, we only get 12 results. And... Some of these are citations. The citations are of some of the previous articles up here. So the results, and the results you're getting, what is this, from 1988, from 1965, 2001, right? 1976. There's almost nothing within the past 10 years. There's only one publication within the past 10 years, right? And it's looking at flavonoid fraction on the prevention of testicular pathologies. So it's, it's looking at uh, basically a supplement is what I'm assuming. It might not be, but uh, it's looking at flavonoids. That's not really a preventative measure overall. I guess it could be if you supplemented prior, but that's not really what we're looking for in terms of prevention. We're, we're thinking about lifestyle, exercise, what you can do in general in terms of diet. Actually, let's, let's take a look at diet here. Oh, wow. We have no publications on varicocele and diet. That is wild. What about nutrition? Nutrition. One. <laughs> oh, geez. From 1880. So we have nothing on diet. We have nothing on nutrition. But we have 2,000 publications on surgery. Isn't that wild? You got you to gotta ask yourself. Now, where are the doctors who are making the decisions and the surgeons and the urologists that are making the decisions of what treatment program to recommend for you or what to recommend for you. Where do you think they're, they're getting their information from to make that recommendation for, to you? Now let's take a look at exercising here. Well, did I misspell that? No, I didn't misspell that. What about exercise? Okay, so let's say there's, there's a few things on exercise here. All of them almost 10 years old now. So there's almost zero effort done on figuring out what are some alternative procedures. Can you exercise to help improve varicocele? Are there some specific exercises that would help someone? Is there some nutritional things that you can make? Is there any lifestyle? Are, are there any lifestyle adjustments that you can make? Apparently not, right? Apparently no one has even done the research. So we don't know. So if anyone tells you lifestyle can't help varicocele, they don't know because the science doesn't know, right? No one knows apparently. Apparently because it's just not researched. I, I'm actually very curious why it's never been researched. I think that's a really, a really good question to ask. What about yoga, varicocele and yoga? Nothing, nothing. That is wild. What about physical therapy? Physical therapy. Nothing. What about acupuncture? Did I spell that properly? I hope I spelled that properly. Let's double check this acupuncture. All right. Okay, six results. Okay. Um, acupuncture and treatment of varicocele. 
acupuncture because there's actually there's money in it there isn't money in lifestyle right there's some money in acupuncture therefore there's been some scientific research done on it and it's very interesting there i actually have i've gone through some of these already and some of them report positive results um now i haven't gone through them in 100 percent detail but some of them actually report positive results um, actually, I think actually almost all of them report positive results uh, in terms of uh, the in terms of fertility, in terms of varicocele size severity. I think almost all of them report some positive results. Now, what else is there? Let's take a look at. Um, I don't know. There's like nothing left. Like what else? Would, <clears throat> like what else would you even take a look at? Let's see what else we have here. Uh, diet, nutrition, yoga, physical therapy, nothing, exercise, nothing. Yeah, so there's, here's, here's the shocker, right? There's a 200, higher, 200 times higher focus on invasive, high-risk procedures. Now, let's, let's even take a look at varicose, let's take a look at embolization. There's 200 results, 200 results on the embolization. So you're telling me that, Putting metal coils in your testicular veins has been researched about 10 times more, maybe even 50 or 100 times more than preventative measures like exercise, physical therapy, yoga, acupuncture, um, lifestyle interventions, nutrition, diets. You tell me how that makes any logical sense. 